Okay, peoples, this is something you will not probably see in the United States unless it's your day job. Um, now, this is, well, basically um, the intake plus the fuel level gauge plus the overpressure blow off and inlet and outlet and tap for inlet and outlet for a car's propane tank. Um, now you may remember in the video with Troy I said that the propane isn't taken from the top of the bottle as a gas. Uh, I said basically that it remains a liquid right up the line until it gets under the hood. Now when you take the propane from the top of the bottle it remains as a gas but this takes it as a liquid hence the pipe. Now this pipe when I got it out the way the tank is supposed to be mounted that pipe was at the bottom of the tank so it actually takes the liquid from the bottom of the tank not like a barbecue where it takes the gas form from the top of the tank um, and basically one of the big screw ups is the feet are only mounted on straps and the tank you don't really know if it's a wagon it's been it's had the feet mounted on the top of the tank so that the tank hangs down below the bumper bar if it's a sedan the feet are mounted on the bottom of the tank and it sits inside the trunk or what Australians call the boot um, with the feet on the bottom and the tank is above um, so you can never really tell what the right way up is furthermore these straps are not part of the tank that have the feet on them, the feet are attached to the straps um, and these straps can be loosened and the tank can be spun around which could happen when they um, take it out of a vehicle or transfer it from one vehicle to another so you never really know what way it's um, going to go. I've sort of got an idea um, by the angle in which the box that this is sort of mounted in um, sits as you know to if it's come out of a wagon or a sedan and where this pipe is going to actually be um, but yeah that's the whole shebang there now this little part here this is just one that's a one of and there's one o-ring that goes right around the outside of all this and attaches to the tank whereas other ones actually have four basically nuts welded onto the tank and holes in the tank where these nuts are and you have an individual blow off, an individual in, an individual out, and an individual um, one for the you know fuel gauge or something like that. Uh, but this one is the old school one where the whole lot is mounted on an O-ring around there. Um, and you may say, well, what's the good of anything out of this? Well, probably not much. But if you're using an evaporative cooler, there's your blooming level straight away for your water. Um, you know that can be hooked to something which you know like um, a flapper valve which basically allows the you know more water to come in or out um, if you've seen a sheep trough you'd understand what I'm saying about um, these here obviously that's a tap this is sort of strange because usually um, they just got a, a tap for the inlet and one for the outlet but this the one tap does both and this here is great in steam applications or anything like that because with steam you may have a bit too much pressure build up. Well this thing is deliberately designed with that spring to let go at a certain pressure when the pressure gets too high because the pressure actually increases in the tank on hot days and then this bit here will let out a blast of propane which will be redirected outside because this is mounted in a box and then you've got pipes on this box which redirect basically out to the bottom of the vehicle and in doing so you can tell if it's gone off because it pops this cap out but that's a great part to use for overpressure in steam applications uh, and stuff like that